The Bible says in John 14, verse 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This peace is a special gift from God given to us through the Holy Spirit, who is our constant comforter and guide. Let me ask you this. Do you truly accept the peace that Jesus offers, or do you let the worries and anxieties of this world take over your heart? Are you living in God's peace, allowing His Spirit to calm your soul and direct your steps? Imagine starting each day wrapped in a sense of calm, unshaken, and serene, no matter the chaos around you. This is the peace that God wants for us, a peace that goes beyond what we can understand and guards our hearts and minds. The Holy Spirit, whom Jesus promised to send, is always with us, offering us calmness in the midst of life's storm. It takes faith to trust in this peace, especially when life's challenges seem overwhelming. We often face situations that challenge our peace, and we must decide how to respond. Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 encourages us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. No matter what hardships you face, accept God's peace. Refuse to let your heart be troubled or afraid. If you release this divine peace, you risk being caught up in the chaos of this world. Jesus Christ is our strong foundation our steady anchor. Circumstances may change, people may change, but the peace of God remains constant and true forever. In John 16 verse 33, Jesus reassures us, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. This is why we can stand confidently in Him, holding on to His unchanging promise of peace. So as we begin this new day, let's commit it to God, seeking His presence and trusting in His unfailing love. Let the peace of the Holy Spirit fill our hearts, guide our actions, and help us bring calmness to a restless world. Accept His peace and let it change your life one day at a time. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning with grateful hearts, thanking you for the gift of a new day. Your word in Psalm 118 verse 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We rejoice in the opportunities and blessings this day brings, and we commit it into your hands, seeking your peace and guidance. Father, we thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding. Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7 encourages us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, we surrender our worries and anxieties to you, and we ask for your peace to guard our hearts and minds today. Lord, we pray for your presence to be with us throughout this day. Isaiah 26 verse 3 promises, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Help us to keep our minds steadfast on you, trusting in your goodness and faithfulness. Let your presence fill our hearts and minds, bringing us peace and comfort. Heavenly Father, we seek your guidance and wisdom. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says that we should trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. We choose to trust you completely, acknowledging that your ways are higher than ours. Lead us in the path of righteousness and direct our steps. Lord, we ask for your strength and courage. 
Your word in Joshua 1 verse 9 reminds us, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Fill us with your strength and help us to face the challenges of this day with confidence, knowing that you are with us. Father, we pray for your peace to rule in our hearts. Colossians 3 verse 15 says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let your peace govern our thoughts, actions, and interactions. Help us to be peacemakers in our homes, workplaces, and communities. Lord, we ask for your favor and blessings to be upon us today. Psalm 90 verse 17 says, May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Let your favor be upon us and establish the work of our hands. Bless our efforts and let them be fruitful for your glory. Heavenly Father, we pray for opportunities to share your love and peace with others. Matthew 5 verse 9 encourages us, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Help us to be a light in the darkness and to reflect your love in our words and actions. Use us to bring hope and encouragement to those we encounter today. Lord, we lift up our plans and aspirations to you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reassures us, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. We trust in your perfect plan for our lives and ask that you guide us according to your will. Align our desires with your purposes and help us to walk in obedience to your word. Father, we ask for your grace and mercy to cover us throughout this day. Hebrews 4 verse 16 invites us, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. We come boldly before your throne, seeking your grace and mercy for every situation we will face today. Strengthen us in our weaknesses and empower us to overcome any challenges. Lord, we pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18 instructs us, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Help us to cultivate a spirit of thankfulness, recognizing your goodness in every circumstance. May we find contentment in your provision and joy in your presence. Heavenly Father, we ask for your protection and blessings over our loved ones. Psalm 121 verse 7 and 8 promises, The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Watch over our families and friends, keeping them safe and guiding them in your ways. Let your presence be with them and bless them abundantly. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness and love. As we go about our day, fill us with your peace and joy. Help us to be a light to those around us and to share your love with others. Let your presence be evident in our lives, and may we bring glory to your name in all that we do. Thank you, Lord, for your promises and for the assurance that you are always with us, watching over us. We praise you for your faithfulness and love. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I declare that the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I will not be anxious about anything, for I trust in the Lord's provision and protection. I declare that the Lord will direct my steps and guide my path. I will trust in him with all my heart and not lean on my own understanding. In all my ways, I will acknowledge him and he will make my path straight. I declare that the Lord is my strength and my shield. I will not fear.
for he is with me. He will uphold me with his righteous right hand and give me the strength to face any challenge. I declare that I will seek the Lord's wisdom in all my decisions. He will give me insight and understanding, and I will walk in his ways. The wisdom that comes from above will guide my actions and choices. I declare that the favor of the Lord rests upon me. He will establish the work of my hands and bless my efforts. I will walk in his favor and experience his blessings in every area of my life. I declare that the presence of the Lord is with me wherever I go. He will never leave me nor forsake me. His presence will be a source of joy and strength, and I will dwell in his peace and love. I declare that the Lord is my provider. He will meet all my needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. I will lack no good thing for he is my shepherd and I trust in his provision. I declare that the Lord is my healer. By his stripes, I am healed. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. I receive his healing touch and walk in his wholeness and health. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. The Lord gives me victory in every battle. I will stand firm in faith, knowing that he fights for me and brings me triumph over every challenge. Thank you, Lord, for your promises and for the assurance that you are always with us, watching over us. We praise you for your faithfulness and love. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. If you are blessed by this message, type blessed in the comments below. And remember, if you have a personal prayer request, 